Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today we celebrate the 16th Sunday in Ordinary Time or the, and the World Day of Grandparents and the Elderly. The Healing Eucharist Incorporated and the SVD Secretariat for Social Communications in cooperation with ABS-CBN, the Philippine Daily Inquirer, Pagoda Philippines Incorporated, RCBC Discartec, and Balikbayan Handicrafts celebrate with you this Holy Mass. Our Mass presiders, Reverend Father Jerome Marquez, SVD, the Provincial Superior of SVD Central Province. We now begin our celebration. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Good morning, Father. Bakit kaya sa mundo magkasama ang mabuti at masama? Bakit kaya hindi inaalis ng Diyos agad yung mga masasama. Wala ba siyang pakialam? Wala ba siyang kayang gawin? Pag nilayan natin sa misang ito, ang plano ng Diyos para sa pagsasama, masama o mabuti. Lord, you have allowed us to grow as a person in loving you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, there is leniency in your heart. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, you govern with restraint. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity. They may be ever watchful in keeping your commands through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Liturgy of the Word. Salvation history is a testimony of God's merciful and enduring love. Meditating on God's patience and mercy, we in turn must be kind to one another. The first reading. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. There is no God besides you who have the care of all, that you need show you have not unjustly condemned. For your mind is the source of justice. Your mastery over all things makes you lenient to all. For you show your might when the perfection of your power is disbelieved. And in those who know you, you rebuke temerity. But though you are master of might, you judge with clemency. And with much lenience, you govern us. For power, whenever you will, attends you. And you taught your people by these deeds that those who are just must be kind. And you gave your children good ground for hope that you would permit repentance for their sins. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, you are good and forgiving. We repeat, Lord, you are good and forgiving. You, O oh Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in kindness to all who call upon you. Hearken, O oh Lord, to my prayer and attend to the sound of my pleading. Lord, you are good and forgiving. All the nations you have made shall come and worship you, O Lord, and glorify your name. For you are great and you do wondrous deeds. You alone are God. Lord, you are good and forgiving. You, O Lord, are a God of merciful, are a God of merciful and gracious, slow to anger abounding in kindness and fidelity. Turn toward me and have pity on me. Give your strength to your servant. Lord, you are good and forgiving. We struggle with imperfection, even in prayer. But God is patiently at work in us through the Holy Spirit who helps us in our weakness. The second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, the Spirit comes to the aid of our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought. But the Spirit himself intercedes with inexpressible groanings, and the one who searches hearts knows what is the intention of the Spirit, because he intercedes for the Holy Ones, according to God's will. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We now rise and honor the Holy Gospel.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The proclamation of the gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus proposed another parable to the crowd, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a man who sowed good seed in his field. While everyone was asleep, his enemy came and sowed weeds all through the wheat and then went off. When the crop grew and bore fruit, the weeds appeared as well. The slaves of the householder came to him and said, Master, did you not sow good seed in your field? Where have the weeds come from? He answered, An enemy has done this. His slaves said to him, Do you want us to go and pull them up? He replied, No. If you pull up the weeds, you might uproot the wheat along with them. Let them grow together until harvest. Then at harvest time, I will say to the harvesters, first collect the weeds and tie them in bundles for burning, but gather the wheat into my barn. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Palakpakan natin yung salita ng Diyos na binasa ko. Magandang araw po sa inyo. Kilala niyo ba yung mga tinatawag na PDL? Persons deprived of liberty. Dati kasi ang tawag natin sa kanila, mga preso. Inmates. Pero ang ginagamit na term ngayon ay mga taong pinagkaitan ng kalayaan. Alam nyo, for some seven years, meron kasama ko sa isang team ministry, lay at saka mga pare, na pumapasok dyan sa Quezon City Jail na ang average capacity sana, mga 1,500, pero ang laman ay mga, that time, ah, mga 4,000. So, nagmimisa ako, isa sa pinakamainit na misa ay ang misa, hindi rito sa Healing Eucharist. Paano naman iinit ang misa natin dito? Doon sa city jail, naglalagablab. Pag kumakanta, hindi kailangan ng choir. Umaawit ang lahat. Pag nagdadasal, halos nakapikit. Talagang taimtim. Kaya ang best masses ko, hindi sa TV. Sa city jail. Kaya yung mga nanonood ng TV, gusto nyo maging meaningful, pumasok sa city jail. As a volunteer. Pero, nagpapakumpisal, Hapon, kung magpakumpisal kami, kataasan ng araw, langit-ngit yung yero sa taas. Tapos, may sakit pa yung iba. <coughs> yeah. Pero ang punto, naniniwala ako hanggang ngayon na yung mga taong nakaharap ko sa loob ng piitan, naghahanap ng tunay na kalayaan. At ang kalayaan niya na hindi lamang pisikal, ang lumabas ng jail. Ang kalayaan niya na ang mabago nila ang kanilang pagkatao. Hindi lahat ang nasa loob ng city jail ay makasalanan. I tell you, ang ilan dyan o ang iba dyan ay isinahog lang. Alam niyo ba yung ibig sabihin nung sahog? Pag nagluluto ka, sinasama ka na lang. So, Walang duda, naroon yung katotohanan ng mga taong nag-aasam ng bagong pagkakataong makapagbago. Sinasabi ko ito dahil ang Ebanghelyo natin ngayon, lifted from Matthew 13, 24 to 30, 
ay tungkol sa talinhaga ng wheat, trigo, and weeds, damo. Hindi ito yung damo na sinigsigarilyo doon sa Thailand. Legal kasi ang damo sa Thailand. Naku, baka maraming pumunta ng Thailand ngayon. Ano? Bangkok. Ito yung damo na nakahalo sa mabubuting trigo. At sa Ebanghelyo, ang sabi rito na ang kaharian ng Diyos ay parang mga damo na nakahalo sa trigo. At hindi ito pinahugot ng may-ari. Hinayaan niyang tumubong sabay ang damo at trigo at antayin na lamang ang anihan para paghiwalayin ang wheat sa mga weeds. Anong lesson ang mapupulot natin sa linggong ito sa talinhagang ito. Una, nakita natin sa Ebanghelyo na magkasama ang trigo at damo. Magkasama ang mabuti tao at ang masamang tao. Magtaas ng kamay rito ang pagkabuti-buti niya. Magtaas din ng kamay dito ang pagkasama-sama niya sa luksok, sa kawalang hiyaan. Hindi ba't napakahirap sa sarili lamang sapagat pag hinusgahan natin nating sarili, nagsasama yung mabuti natin, malambing, maasikaso, mapangalaga, at yung ating konting pagkamasama. Malamig ang loob sa kaaway, nag-iisip ng masama, may mga pagnanasa. At yan ay isang tao. Magkahalo. Kaya sa Ebanghelyo, maralig natin ang sinabi ng may-ari na kumakatawan sa Diyos. Let them grow until harvest time. May timeline ang Diyos. Harvest time and time. And on that harvest time, maghihiwalay ang masama at pagsasama-samahin at susunugin at pukunin ang trigong mabuti at isasama sa pag ng Diyos. Let us not forget, my timeline ang Diyos. But we realize na bakit niya hinayaang magsama ang mabuti at masama? Maybe because we cannot judge simply the externals. Hindi dahil mukhang maganda sa labas, mabuti ang loob. Only God knows our hearts. So we cannot judge. Only God, who knows us fully, can judge justly and wisely. Kaya pag tinanong natin, sino nga ba talaga ang pagkasama-sama? My simple response is, Lord, Ikaw na ang humusga. Pangalawang lesson, nakita natin sa Ebanghelyo na ang Diyos pala ay lenient, mapagparaya. At nakita rin natin sa pagbasa na Pag namamahala ang Diyos, He governs with restraint. Nagpipigil. So on the first reading, lifted from the Book of Wisdom, maintindihan natin at maitatanong, bakit kaya hinahayaan ng Diyos na may nangyayaring masama? Pwede naman silang parusahan agad, tamaan ng kidlat, sunugin ang bahay, lasunin ang kinakain. Pero bakit magkakasama at naroon pa rin ang kasamaan? Ang premise ng Book of Wisdom na binasa natin, ang sabi rito, 
God has unlimited power, sovereign power. Napaka makapangyarihan ng Diyos. At dahil na makapangyarihan niyan, ang kanyang katarungan ay hindi natin pwedeng tawaran. He knows. He has plans. And by His sovereign power, when He applies, the more it, is, it has justice. Yung mga magulang dito, sasabihin nyo sa anak nyo, pumasok ka ha? Kahit ayaw nung anak, yan ang makakabutis sa iyo. Mapipilit ng magulang sapagkat alam niya ang higit na mabuti. Kumain ka ng gulay, hindi dahil kahit ayaw ng anak. Naalala ko may kaibigan ako, dalawa ang anak niya. Isang madre at isang naging negosyante. Nung bata itong dalawa, yung madre, pagkabait-bait, kaya nga naging madre. Yung negosyante, sa lingwahe ng kalye, tarantado. Nung lumalaki, naging holdaper. Nang loloob ng mga jeep, nakasaksak, nakabaril, nakulong, pero yung nanay, kahit ganun yung anak niya, mas mahal niya yung holdaper kaysa dun sa madre. Pantay siguro, pero sabi niya, mas kailangan ng anak kong masama ang aking pagmamahal. Si sister, ligtas na yan. Itong isa, ililigtas pa. Hindi ko maintindihan. Ganun ang puso ng ina. Ganun din kaya ang puso ng Diyos. Upang meron siyang paraan para magparaya, magpigil, may pasyensya, sapagkat naniniwala siya na ang isinilid niya sa tao ay kabutihan, goodness, at naghihintay ang Diyos ng pagkakataong magbabago ang tao. Saan nakabatay ang pangangalaga ng Diyos sa mabuti at masama. Nakabatay yan sa kanyang habag. Mercy. Yan ang meron ang Diyos. Kaya andun ang direksyon ng kanyang pagpapala. Naalala ko yung prayer ni David, Psalm number 86. Di ba alam natin naging makasalanan din si David? nakiapit kay Bathsheba at nagbago. At ito ang kanyang dasal. You, O Lord, are a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger, abounding on kindness and fidelity. Turn toward me and have pity on me. Give strength to your servant. Amen. Let us profess our faith as we say, I believe in one God. The Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, True God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, 
the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. God has sown His Word in our hearts so that we may grow fruitful in our Christian discipleship. With confidence, let us call out to the Father as we say, Father, perfect us in your love. Father, perfect us in your love. May the church become more fully conscious of her mission as evangelizer of the word, so that people may be led to renewal and conversion. We pray. Father, perfect us in your love. May government leaders reject the culture of death and revenge by tempering their sense of justice with mercy and compassion. We pray. Father, perfect us in your love. May family members nourish themselves with daily meditation on your word and constant acts of charity. We pray. Father, perfect us in your love. May our beloved dead see the light of your eternal embrace and be given sure hope of the resurrection. We pray. Father, perfect us in your love. For all missionaries who have left home, country, and family to proclaim the gospel to all nations. May the Lord protect them from all dangers, strengthen them in their loneliness, give joy to their communities, and fulfillment in their apostolate. May the Lord reward them in this life and in the life to come for their sacrifices and gener generosity for the kingdom, we pray. Father, perfect us in your love. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community, those who are asking for our prayers and our per personal intentions. We pray for the following intentions, the birthday of Jackie Formoso, Bojiro Gomez, Melanie Canero, for the soul of Ernesto Serrano and Milagros Crisologo, and for the healing of Greg Origenes, Florisa Miguel Dionisio, and Ireneo Oreta, Finina Arcilia, Princess Kylie Pasco, and Ferdinand Sia. We pray. Father, perfect us in your love. May I also include in our prayers healing intention for Mrs. Carol Lam, P.D. Barsaga, for the child Elijah, as you may also add other intentions in your hearts, especially an intention for conversion of sinners. Perfect us in your love, Almighty Father, and help us in our weakness. Send your Spirit to strengthen us in our struggle against evil. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The Liturgy of the Eucharist.
today, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants. Make it holy as you blessed the gifts of Abel, so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so love the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours, that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Ama namin banal, ikaw ang bukal ng lahat ng kabanalan. Kaya't sa pamamagitan ng iyong Espiritu, gawin mong banal ang mga kaloob na ito upang para sa amin maging katawan at dugo ng aming Panginoong Yesu Kristo. Noong gabi, bago siya ipagkanulo, kinuha niya ang tinapay. Nagpasalamat sa iyo, Diyos Ama, at nagpuri. Pinaghati-hati niya iyon. Iniabot sa kanyang mga alagad at winika Tanggapin ninyo ang lahat ito at kanin. Ito ang aking katawan na ihahandog para sa inyo. Gayun din naman, nung matapos sa hapunan, kinuha niya ang kalis. Muli nagpasalamat sa iyo, Diyos Ama at Ang Puri. Binigay ang kalis sa kanyang mga alagad at winika Tanggapin ninyong lahat ito at inumin. Ito ang kalis ng aking dugo. Bagot walang hanggang tipan. Ang aking dugong ibubuhos para sa inyo at para sa lahat sa ikapagpapatawad ng mga kasalanan. Gawin ninyo ito bilang pag-alala sa akin. The Mystery of Faith. Ama, ginagawa namin ngayon ang pag-alala sa pagkamatay at muling pagkabuhay ng iyong anak. Kahit iniialay namin sa iyo ang tinapay nagbibigay buhay at ang kalis sa nagkakaloob ng kaligtasan. Kami nagpapasalamat, ginawa mo kami marapat tumayo sa harap mo upang maglingkod sa iyo. Sinasamo namin, kami magsasalo-salo sa katawan at dugo ni Kristo, mabuklod sa pagkakaisa kaysa ng banal na Espiritu. Ama, lingapin mo ang iyong simbahang laganap sa buong daigdig 
Pusposin mo kami sa pag-ibig kaysa ng aming Santo Papa, si Francis, ang aming obispong si Onesto, ang pinuno ng SVD si Paulus Budi Cleden, ng Tanang Kaparian. Lingapin mo rin ang sambayan ng tinipon mo rito sa Healing Eucharist. Sampu ng mga ipinagdarasal namin sa misang ito. Alalahan mo rin mga kapatid naming namatay, may pag-asang sila'y muling mabubuhay at lahat ng mga pumanaw. Maawa ka sa aming lahat, gawin mo kami marapat pumasok sa buhay na walang wakas. Kasama ni Maria, Birheng Ina ng Diyos, ng mga apostol, ng mga banal, si St. Arnold Jansen, St. Joseph Renademetz, Maria Elena, Elena Nosefa, ang mga martir ng SVD at ang tanang at lahat ng mga banal that we may merit to be co-ears to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Kabila ng ating mga kahinaan, kaya nating tumawag sa Diyos ng dakilang kabutihan. Halina, tawagin natin ang ating Ama. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin, safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Lord, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Grant us peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Masama kaya o mabuti ang katabi mo, pero batiin mo pa rin ang peace be with you.
Peace be with you, Father. Peace be with you. This is Jesus who spoke about God's kingdom, a kingdom of patience, a kingdom that allows us to mature. Happy are those who are called to join in the banquet of our Savior. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. We would like to acknowledge and be grateful to Congressman Erwin Tulfo and family, to Charito Juan and family, to Rodel Manansala and family, to Rita Cruz and to all other families who are one on this Sunday Healing Eucharist. And thank you also to all our donors and future sponsors. We need your support for the Healing Eucharist Sunday Mass. God bless you more. Magdadagdag din ng konting announcement si Father Jerome. Uh, meron po kaming magbubukas na program dito sa yung dating DZMM ay ano na po ngayon? Uh, Teleradyo Servisyo Radyo sa Istrenta. At uh, in most more, more possibility babalik yung program na religious programming pag Sunday 9.30 to 11.30 GBU God bless you Abangan nyo po, maaring makasama po ako ron. And then I have a social media account sa TikTok. Hindi po ako magsasayaw. Mga two minutes lang po yon na Sunday Gospel Reflection. Ang pangalan po, pakitype, Conversations with Father Jerome. TikTok po yon every week. Minsan sasama kita dyan. Ayan. At tama na po yon. Let's have the healing prayer. May I ask you to stay connected to the Christ that we encountered in this Eucharist, to the God who has given us His Spirit, to the Word that has enlightened us, to the Eucharist that has made us one physically, spiritually, to God's presence. Father God, Lord, creator of all, with your might and power, you have shown us your patience, your indulgence, your restraint, despite our weaknesses and the evil in us and among us. You have such hope that there is a moment of change, of conversion, of we seeing the goodness that you have implanted in our hearts. Allow, Lord, such goodness to come out in our words, in our deeds, in our thoughts, in our love for you, in our care for my fellow human being, in our care for Mother Earth. Lord, bless each of us needing your touch of conversion as we also seek your touch of healing and mercy. Hilumin mo ang mga tao may pinagdaraan ng karamdaman ngayon. Pisikal, mental, emosyonal, sosyal, at lalo tigit spiritual. Naway sa karamdaman ito, Hindi kami malayo sa iyo. Bagkos sa karamdamang ito, ang paghilom ng aming puso, katawan, at spirito, at ang iyong pagsubaybay at pagsasama sa amin, ang maghatid sa amin, higit na makilala ka, higit na makita ang iyong kabutihan, higit na aming maramdaman ng iyong presensyang nagbibigay sa amin, ng tanging inihihin namin, sapagkat sa iyo lamang kami, umaasa. Lord, only in you, we depend. And so, grant each of us, Lord, such healing so we can truly have salvation and freedom. The joy that is, we seek from you. All this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Can we say the prayer, Hail Mary, full, full of, of grace. grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mother, Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners now and up to the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass has been celebrated. Let us go and continue to follow Jesus. Thanks be to God.